made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And I call this verse God's answer. When we talk about sin and we, we, we discuss the issue of sin in our lives, we as humans have to understand that there is absolutely nothing that we can do in our power to erase our sin debt. It doesn't matter how much we try. Amen. Uh, Adam and Eve went for fig leaves. It don't matter how many leaves they would have sold together. It doesn't matter how much they would have tried to cover up. It doesn't matter how many positions they held in the church. It doesn't matter how many auxiliaries they were a part of in the church. It doesn't matter how much they came to church. There's nothing you can do in your own power to erase your sin debt. So we go all the way down to verse 21, and, and when it's all said and done, we find that the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. God's answer. So before we talk about the rest of it, you might wonder why would God do something for them had they sinned against him and made him unhappy? Amen? That makes sense. That's a loophole in there. That's some information that's left out. He blesses them and, and helps them out when they did wrong. Yeah. How many of uh, the children get that kind of treatment at home? Yes. Yeah. You do something wrong and you get a blessing. Well. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Praise God. Why you get it like that coming up? All right. <laughs> if I did it, I got it. Um, so you would expect that and Eve to get it too. But they didn't. God bless them. So the next verse, let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. And verse number 8. Ephesians 2 and 8. You got to say amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace you have been saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Verse 9, that is a result of works, so that no one may boast. Yes. Amen. So in case we read those verses in Genesis, and then we wonder, why would God bless them, and why would God do for them after they did wrong, right. and then they even tried to cover it up. And then he tried to come and, and talk to them about it, and they ran from him. Why would he bless them after all that? Well, verse 8 tells us that we are saved by grace. Amen? Amen. Grace, of course, is getting what we don't deserve. Amen? Amen. Anytime we get something we don't deserve, it's called grace. Letting you buy, letting you slide, blessing you in spite of. Amen? Amen? That's grace, and, and, and that's the message here tonight is that we are saved by grace. Amen. It, it's not our works that save us. It's not what we've done or how we look or, or what we intend to do or, or what we're willing to do or anything. We can build ourselves and, 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 and go and say that we're this and we're that. It's not none of that here tonight that causes God to love us. Amen. Amen. It's grace. The reason why Jesus Christ came and shed his blood for us on the cross at Calvary is because God loves us. Not because we deserved it. Not because we are even worth it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Saved by grace through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. It's, it's very simple in verse number 8. That not of yourselves. It had nothing to do with you. It's the gift of God. And, and what do you got to do to receive a gift? Nothing. Amen. 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 Nothing. Not as a result of work so that no man may boast. God knows that, that if we had the ability to save ourselves, the world would never stop hearing about it. Okay. <laughs> hmm? well. yep. Your parents would never stop hearing about it. Your sister would never stop hearing about it. That's all you want to talk about is how you did so good and you're so this and you're so that. And I'm this and I'm that and that's why God loves me. God knows that about you. Amen. Amen. That's why there's nothing in our power we can do to save ourselves. All we can do is turn to Jesus. Amen. 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 And then the last verse, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have 
everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Same thing that God did for Adam and Eve, he gave to them. He gave them what they needed to be made right again. Amen. Amen. And, and, and he did the same thing for us. John 3 and 16 tells us that he gave us his son Jesus. He gave us people that couldn't get it right. People that can't get it right. People that won't get it right. And some of us don't want to get it right. Amen? Amen. And, 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 and ultimately, we will receive death for living in such a way. Amen? Amen. God, knowing that we were on our way to hell, gave us what we needed. He gave us his son, Jesus, first to show us the way and then to save us. Amen? Amen. So, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I just want you all to know that we're saved by grace. Amen? Amen. And, and, if, and if there's there's one in the room or, or if young people find yourself uh, battling with, with feeling bad or feeling guilty or, or feeling like you're not worthy to, to live up to this that we've asked you to live to, to be the woman of God or the man of God that your parents are encouraging you to be, don't feel that way. 